Hey Battlefielders, today I'm going to review a weapon that doesn't get much love today. It's been forgotten with some of the new weapons that have come out. Uh, as a secondary, I really do like the P226. It's very, very good. And like I said, today it's a little bit overshadowed. And that has a lot to do with the fact that Desert Eagle exists in the game. Let's not kid ourselves, Desert Eagle is a damn fine weapon. It does quite a bit of damage and I know quite a few people hate the thing just because it is so darn good. Now if you remember back before the Desert Eagle and before the delay patch on the heavy hit revolvers, which I do happen to like the revolvers quite a bit, typically what I use. If before all that, this is my go-to pistol. I still like it quite a bit. I do really well because I was in this pistols only matches, so which I find quite fun because they take a little bit more skill than the rest of the game. The other rest of the game, you just hold the trigger down and hope, and hope you win. I mean, it's a little more advanced than that. But in this, you have to be more strategic, a little, a little, play a little better. And I really do like doing pistol only stuff occasionally. While slightly outclassed in damage, it does do a fairly good job. You can get a four shot kill at point blank range is where you typically would use a pistol because it does a max damage of 27. Now at maximum range, it's going to do only 12.1. So you're going to have to put quite a few rounds and dropping somebody at that distance. Of course, why would you be using your pistol at any range? I don't know, unless you're really desperate for ammo. And who isn't from time to time, right? Now, if you run out of rounds in your primary or you just need to reload and somebody's running up on you, you actually have some capacity here. You got 15 rounds plus one in the chamber. So 16 rounds total is quite a bit. You can put down some damage, especially in close range. You, you potentially get up to four people. That's not likely to happen. I usually don't get more than three maximum, but it can happen. And when you do need to reload this weapon, it's a fairly reasonable reload of 1.4 seconds if it's entirely empty. And if you have at least one left, it's 1.25 seconds. Fairly quick, not the quickest of all the pistols, but it's definitely in that range where it's fairly quick enough that you won't fall on your face too often reloading this thing. Now one of the other perks about this weapon you're going to notice, and it's quite evident when I'm shooting here, is it's so damn fast to fire. It's not the fastest. I mean, the automatics obviously are going to beat it, and I believe the FN57 beats it, but that thing's it's kind of junk as far as I'm concerned. This thing fires at 400 rounds per minute, which is quite quick for a semiotic pistol. Assume you can actually pull the trigger that fast, which I don't find too hard to max out most of the weapons personally on a mouse. Although your mileage may vary, and it may affect a little bit if you're using them controller. I, I could actually max them out back when I played the Xbox 360 version of Battlefield 3, but I know not everybody's got quite the trigger finger I may have. And when you're yanking on that trigger real hard, first thing you're going to think of, well, how bad is the recoil? It's not too bad. It's not the best, but it's actually fairly decent. It's a little up until the left. You got a point four up, a point four left, a point two right, and the first shot multiplier is one. It's relatively easy control, and you can see here with my attachments, it's not bouncing around too badly. I'm not the best of aim, but I can actually pop people at relatively good distances and keep it on target. And with some of the heavier hitting pistols, you'll find that it jumps around quite a bit compared to this. Which, of course, you know, you take less rounds to kill them, but at the same time, it's not as easy to control as this weapon is. And with coupled with a laser, the hit fire is quite good. I hit fire it quite often. It works out really well for me. And while hip fire and the heavier hitting pistols that I like to use a lot, like the Desert Eagle or SW-42, my personal favorites, isn't quite as good just because they do kick quite hard and have twice the recoil this does while hip firing. And I know people love to argue with me about this. I personally believe hip firing in a lot of situations is quite a bit better than trying to pull up and aim. That split second you pull up can cost you one extra shot. And I'd rather have that one extra shot than hope my aim's good enough to get the kill for me. Of course, I'm kind of one of those idiots that'll run into a fight hit fire an LMG as well. So that's kind of a personal thing I do quite often. Now I'm wondering, why don't you use the Desert Eagle always? Well, this is kind of my sneaky little class setup. I really like using this one with the silencer. It works so well getting in and among all of them and picking them off. At the same time, if they have Commander, obviously this is not your best bet. But I do love using this thing. It works so well for me. I have quite a few kills with this one. Uh, I, every time I try to switch to something else, it just doesn't work as well. And I just like being stealthy with this thing. It's just a hell of a lot of fun. And most people never know you're there. Now, as far as attachments go, obviously, I told you the suppressor. I think it's the best attachment. Um, it has such good aim, you don't really need the other ones. And it works so well being silenced. And as far as optics, of course, it's always up to your preference. But I believe the mini red dot sight is the best one. Of course, you know, here I'm not really using it much, but I do believe it's the best one, the best bang for your buck. But I do happen to like the ghost ring quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the Delta, I just don't like it that much. 
And lastly, accessory would be the green laser sight. Just because the red is a little too easy to spot at distance. And it happened just like green. Of course, if it's a dark map, the laser light combo can work in situations. I'm not a big fan of uh, letting them know I'm coming up on them. Although a tactical light does work decently in some darker maps as well. Uh, but typically I would stick to the green laser dot sight. And oh yeah, look at that execution style. Love it. So in conclusion, if you haven't tried out this pistol in a long time like I didn't, try it out. It's, it's actually a lot of fun. It's a, a little bit more tactical to use than just using the Desert Eagle every single match. And if you haven't done it, pistol only servers are great. There are no explosions typically. It's just knife, defib, torch, and pistols. It's quite fun. It's, it's, it's so tactical because you have to really think about what you're doing and how you're going to proceed into things. It's, it's great. I love them. And I think I'd like them at first. If you enjoyed my video and found it informative, I would appreciate if you smash that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Here on the left, I got a BF4 Recon God. I'm not really a Recon God, but I, I made it look almost like I am one. It's a little funny video, I think. And then I got some more funny on the right. One of my favorite fails videos I've done.